All right, what's going on guys? Happy Sunday, happy Easter. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you had a good day. Hopefully you got to spend some time with some friends or family. Uh, but for tonight, hopefully we get to spend some time together making some cool logos and stuff. So what we're gonna do is uh, actually, we're gonna be creating a logo using a random number generator and a spreadsheet. I know it sounds super boring, but it's gonna be really cool. I'll show you here in just a minute. Uh, so go ahead and post in the chat where you're tuning in from, and we're about to get started here. Let me show you what we're going to do. So, uh, moving a couple windows around, getting things set. I don't have my extra screen tonight, so I've got a bunch of windows smashed in on top of each other. All right, here we go. So here's what we're going to be doing. We are going to be taking this spreadsheet here. And uh, you can see we've got an adjective, a noun, and a type. All right, so we're gonna pick three different words and we're gonna create a logo. So this is a good exercise if you're ever feeling stuck creatively, uh, kind of like I was tonight. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. So I was like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make a random logo. So let's go ahead and jump in here. And what we wanna do first, go to Google and just search for a number generator. All right, and now on this document, I've got 22 rows. And so I wanna choose between one and 22, and I'll click generate. All right, so the first word is courageous. All right, so we got courageous. Copy these words here. Actually, I'm just gonna go right here. I don't even need to do this. I'm just gonna lob it down here, paste it down here so I can remember what it was. Courageous, 
Let's generate another one. Let's see, 16 e earring, courageous earring. All right, this is, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Generate the next number here, 21. Union, courageous earring union. I'm not sure I'm up for that. So let's, I want to pick another noun. Let's just, let's just see what we get here. Nine jeans, courageous jeans union. Okay. There's an idea. I'm gonna do another one just in case. Courageous bread. I'm not feeling any of these. That's the point of this exercise though, is to pick something and then make a logo with it. So, you know, Courageous Earring Union. I just don't even know what I want to do with that right now. What do you guys think? Courageous Design Union. Courageous Bread. Hmm. I'm getting the same numbers over and over again. It must be what I'm supposed to do here. Courageous Snowboard Union. I just... To me, I'm feeling that so much more than anything else. We're going to make this <laughs> the Courageous Snowboard Union. How about that? I just bought a brand new pair of skis. Uh, and I'm really excited to use them, but it's the end of the season, so i got to wait a whole, a whole summer before I get to use my new skis. All right, let's go ahead and design the Courageous Snowboard Union. Oh, my goodness. All right. wrong one so you can see it tonight uh i'm gonna be using my ipad here but i'm really comfortable with the keyboard shortcuts and so i decided to try this bluetooth keyboard so i've got this bluetooth keyboard paired with my ipad then i've got this keyboard for my laptop but then i realized i can't even really use it because it's everything's in the way so it was it was a good idea in theory but now i'm just typing up here because I, I keep Anyway, whatever. But tonight I'm going to be trying to use this uh, keyboard as some of my keyboard shortcuts while I'm designing on the iPad. We'll see how that goes. We'll see how that treats us. So, all right, let's go ahead and get to work here. All right, so we have the Courageous Snowboard Union. So what I'm going to do, uh, let's go ahead and make a new document. And let me make sure I can see you guys in the chat as well. If you're watching, say hello. Let me know where you're tuning in from, what you're up to tonight or this morning, depending on which part of the world you're in. Let me know where you're watching from. What are you up to? All right. So we're going to dive right in. Let's create a new document. And because it's Illustrator and everything's vector, we can scale it however we want. So typically when I'm working on an iPad, uh, I'll make a new document that's just whatever my screen size is, uh, which actually isn't on... I don't have it set up right now like this, but that's all right. It doesn't really matter what I choose. I'm gonna do 1920 by 1080. I'll click create file. And you can see we've got this, this document here. And again, the reason why it doesn't matter is because it's vector and we are going to be uh, scaling this however we want. All right, let's get some text in here. I'm gonna jump over to my keyboard. All right. Let's do courageous. Courageous snowboard union. Did I spell that right? I think so. All right, cool. All right, let's do it. Idaho, what's going on? What part of Idaho, Matthew? I used to live in Spokane, so I was right next to Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. We used to go over Coeur d'Alene all the time. All right, Courageous Snowboard Union. So to me, this screams like hipster and like circles and stuff. I don't know. Man, that's a long, that's a long, that's a lot of words too. All right, Courageous. Man, what are we going to do with this thing? So the way that I usually warm up is I start by making a few copies of things. Um, kind of getting used to the shortcuts on this at the same time. All right, so let's play with some fonts. Let's just kind of see what we've got here for some ideas. 
my lights are not placed in a very good spot because I've got a massive glare here. Oh, well. All right, let's see. Abolition, that's always a good one that I play with. I'm going to drag a copy. So if I was just doing this on the iPad, maybe I should, just so that way we can get just the shortcuts. So when you tap it on it, you've got this little square with the plus inside of it. Uh, how am I going to show this? Well, you can kind of see my screen. Um, or I can use the option key on a keyboard. So I've got a Bluetooth keyboard connected. So I just hit the option key and drag down a copy. All right. So right now, again, just trying to warm up. Just trying to get some ideas. Trying to throw some fonts down. I'm really having a hard time with this light. I'm going to turn it off for a minute. That's better. That's a lot better. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Hey, hey, what's up? You are in Coeur d'Alene. That's awesome. So did you guys watch the uh, Gonzaga game? Are you a Gonzaga fan? CSU is a good acronym. Jenna, thank you. CSU. Crime Scene Unit. Right? All right. Let's, let's throw that in there while she's thinking about that. CSU. We'll throw that over there. Yeah, Coeur d'Alene is awesome. We, uh, the last time I was in town, we went to the, oh, what was the name of it? It's that Brazilian steakhouse off the lake. It was so good. So good. I ate so much food. <laughs> All right, let's see. Courageous Snowboard Union. Let's get just a couple more fonts down here. What am I doing? Fonts. Why am I not seeing? Oh, there we go. All right. Not much of a sports fan. That's all right. I get it. I used to be an athlete, but I never liked to watch the sports. I still don't watch very many sports. I'd rather play if I'm going to do anything. Uh, let's see. All right. How many? So when I get started, typically by the end of this thing, I'll, I'll give like one really strong look. Sometimes I might have uh, like three or four looks for a client. But when I get started, I have a hard time committing to a font. So I start to, this is how I start. I just start throwing things around. How do you guys do it? Any of the logo designers out here watching tonight? All right. So. Yes, I could go through and I could just literally throw every single font out here. But for the interest of time, I wonder if I can keep this to like a 45 minute stream and come up with something. That would be great. That would be just awesome. All right. We've got some looks. We've got some logo fonts, whatever, that I think have some potential here. Okay. I'm going to call that good. I like where a lot of these are headed. All right. Courageous Snowboard Union. Well, I feel like... Gosh. Uh, I feel like the... Here, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna look up some stuff because I feel like that's gonna be faster than... I just want to show you guys what I'm thinking in my mind. So something like this is handcrafted, whatever, something like this. Um, you know, here's a lot of different badges and, and things we could do with this. Let's see how these look. 
restaurant retro vector logo for banner. Somebody's trying to hit all their keywords. Okay, so we could do some kind of a circle or some kind of a, I'm having a hard time seeing all these. All right, all right, all right, all right. Well, let's, let's kind of keep building. Let's keep going here. Matthew says he never commits to fonts until the end. Working on custom icons for accessibility switch panels. That sounds cool. Um, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's get to work here. I keep saying that. It's just me stalling because I don't know what to do. Uh, So the next thing we can do is start reducing. So at first I throw a bunch in there that might be options. And then what I'll do, and I have never tried to do this on an iPad to clone an artboard. So give me a minute to figure this out. Oh, there we go. Cool. All right, so now what we can do, once we've got a bunch in there as options, now we can go through and actually delete the ones that either I don't like or that I don't think are a good fit. So uh, we'll jump in here. Let's start deleting the ones that aren't aren't going to work for me here. Delete that one. The CSU is just up here as a reminder to try that as an abbreviation. Like this one, I like that one. I don't know. Knowing it's a snowboard brand, like I'm kind of okay showing some of these grungy fonts because it feels like it should be like a skateboard brand, maybe, maybe. Ah, I don't know. I think I'm gonna delete those. Never mind. I take it all back. And how do I make, I want to make this all caps. Which font is this? DIN. Okay. So we're going to come down here to the properties, make all caps. All right. So these, these four are pretty strong. This music is stressing me out, man. All right. Uh, let's see. So we've got some fonts here we could play around with. We can explore. Let's kind of like how this one's it just looks a little bit uh, a little unique like that I'm digging that it's gin I'm pretty sure of course it is I love that font so I always end up using it it's all right it's all right it's a good font we're gonna use it again so these are the four that I like I'm gonna clone this artboard again maybe there we go Okay, so now this will be the one that I'm gonna start playing around with. All right. I said I was gonna use the keyboard, but actually I've been using just the iPad, which is, I've apparently been using it enough now that I'm getting more comfortable without my shortcuts over here. So that's nice. All right. Let's see, we'll clone it. We'll bring that down here. All right, well, let's start with the basics. Let's get a, a circle going on. I'm gonna hit this, uh, I forget what this is called, but this little circle thing down here in the bottom left, which we can move around wherever we want it. But when I hold it down, it's like holding down, um, well, in this case, it's like holding down the shift key to make this a perf perfect circle, okay? So we'll get that started. Oops. I'm gonna get my selection tool. 
I'm gonna bring this over here. I'm gonna select both of these. And then I'm gonna come over here to the text menu on the side. I gotta zoom this camera in. Here, let me, is it, uh, let me see. Hold on, hold that thought. Okay, well, I'll fix this for the next stream. Anyway, um, I was trying to zoom in far enough that you guys could see things a little easier. Uh, the other thing I could do is come up here to my settings, go to the app settings, go to input. And we're going to turn on show taps as a blue dot. There. All right, now you can see what I'm doing. That'll be better. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. All right. So uh, let's, what I want to do is wrap this around the circle. So I'm going to select both of them. Come here to this text tool or type on path. Boom. All right. We'll come here to properties. Let's scroll down, let's center this. All right. Cool, headed the right direction. <laughs> That's how we all work, just start over. <laughs> all right, um, let's grab Union here. making my brain work in overtime trying to think about how I want to do this in, on the desktop app and then doing it on the iPad. It's it's similar, but there's still some things that my brain is used to. Well, not my brain, just muscle memory, right? With my hands on the keyboard and on the desktop version. Uh, there we go. All right, well, this circle is huge. What's the best way? I don't know, I'm making this up as we go. So much for a 30 minute stream though, I can tell you right now. All right, we're almost there.
All right, that got difficult. So what I was trying to do there is uh, clone this guy. Let's step back. Click on it, clone it. And I was trying to drag it over in a straight line. Uh, so what I do is hold on the option key on my keyboard, this Bluetooth keyboard here over on the side. I click to start to get a copy going. You then hold down shift to snap it straight in line. Not sure why that, there we go. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, I've got a good start going. I'm gonna highlight all of these, move it over here, duplicate it, whoops, or not. Try that again. Let's group them. There we go. All right, uh, now I'm gonna grab these fonts. I'm gonna come down here. I wanna outline the text. So let's ungroup this. Grab just one at a time, maybe. There we go. Okay, so now what I can do I'm gonna shift click this union, let's merge it together. Now I'm gonna take these three, let's see, I'm gonna take this center one and shift click these. Oh wait, that's not gonna work right. Cause these aren't the exact same size. What I was gonna do is try and line them up perfectly. perfectly. But I just realized this word, let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, two, six, seven, 10. So yeah, one letter more on courageous than snowboard. Okay, so it's not going to be perfect as far as where the where these little dots line up. So that might be weird. Not sure I like that. Uh, okay, let's. What I could have also done earlier is clone my circles because now I got to try and make them line up after the fact. That's all right. All right, let's align these. Those don't look perfect either. I must have accidentally skewed this at some point. Oh, I see what's going on, okay. So it's kind of difficult to see, but I'm using, uh, as I'm doing this, so I've got the circle going, I, I hit shift X, which is the shortcut to flip my fill in my stroke. Um, something that I carried over from using a desktop. So shift X, flipping that from a fill to a stroke. Command C to copy, command V should paste it. Okay, so Command V on a desktop, just paste it wherever, but command it, and so you'd hit Command F instead to paste it right in front in the same spot. Uh, but it looks like it pastes it in place on the iPad, which is nice. Okay. Let's adjust the stroke. Do I have an eyedropper tool? I think I do, but I don't know how to use it on the iPad. Okay. Uh, what I want to do is sample the stroke from this guy and copy it to this guy. There's got to be a way. Anybody know how to do that?
Ah, there we go. All right. Uh, what do we need? We need something, something else. Maybe I'll just move on to the next thing. The thing to remember, guys, is memory is cheap, right? It's basically free. You can make as many digital pixels on this thing as you want. You're not going to run out of space uh, on a logo. So just keep trying it. Keep throwing things around and see if anything sticks. All right. Something else. Um, let's see. Oh, let's play with this instead. Let's do CSU. All right, so we got this. I forgot, well, it doesn't really matter. Let's throw it up there as an editable font, but I'll select this guy. Here we'll outline the text. All right, what can we do with this thing here? Let's see. Oh, that's something else too. So I just accidentally double clicked on my pencil, Apple Pencil, and currently I have that set to pop open with the color picker, which is handy. Oh, there's the eyedropper right there. Although I don't think it grabs styles. Maybe it does. Uh, anyway, so I design my logos in black first before I jump into any kind of color. If I want to deviate from that and I want to reverse it, sometimes I'll do... Um, like a, like a dark color, like a dark slate color or even black. Um, just because I don't want the colors to influence what the design looks like. So that'd be the other way I design like, like that. So I can kind of see how the negative space looks on the shapes. So, but I never, I never start with color on the first round. Mm. I shouldn't say never. I say almost never. What's up? Is it, is it Mochi or Moki over on Behance? Thank you. What's up? Uh, yeah. So we are working on, if you're just tuning in, we are making a logo for a fictitious company. The way we got here is we use the, uh, this number generator Excel spreadsheet. And then I went over to, not that one, there we go. I went over here and I generated uh, different numbers. So I started with the first row, picked, a, picked a, an adjective, a noun, and then the type. So that's how we got to Courageous Snowboard Union. So uh, right now, <clears throat> I'm just trying to come up with something. And uh, it's, you know, we're warming up, we're getting there. All right, CSU. Man, I just don't even know what I want to do with this yet. 
So that's something else too. Most of my logos, when I get started, I'm making a bunch of excuses right now, guys. <laughs> I was going to say, most of my logos when I get started, like I'll start a sketchbook or I'll start thinking about it. I might make it about this far in a project. Let's say that it's a, a company that I'm working for and I'll, and I'll kind of pick out the fonts. I'll get an idea going. I'll narrow it down to the fonts that I think maybe I want to use, or maybe I'll do something custom, hand lettered, whatever. Maybe I'll jump into my notebook. Uh, and then I might throw down a couple different versions just to kind of remind myself the ideas I wanted to look at. So in this case, it's a circular logo. All right. And then actually this reminds me of skateboard wheels a little bit. All right. And then this version is the, um, the abbreviated version or the abbreviation, right? So I just kind of start throwing down some different ideas and then I might pause and I might go do something else, go for a bike ride or go, I don't know, work on another project. <coughs> give my brain some time to kind of think about it. All right. <sighs> Courageous snowboard union. Gosh. The other thing that I try to avoid doing, uh, at least at the beginning is I try to avoid looking at other logos, um, because I, I don't want to, like, I want to have clear thought just about the project I'm working on. When I am ready to look at logos though, let me show you what I do here. Oh, wrong keyboard. Oh, geez. Jump over here. So, um, Behance is a great one. Logo Pond is a good one. Um, logo Lounge is a good one. Actually, I've got some logos featured in the Logo Lounge books, so that's cool. Ooh, 2020 Trend Report. Let's check that out. So, I'm going to hold down Command on my keyboard and then click, and that's going to open it up into a new tab. I'm gonna come up here and I'll click on the actual website. Actually click on logos, logo pond, Behance, and let's search for, uh, search for logo. Let's just see what happens. Okay. So let's get some ideas. Oh, that's cool. Looks like the TikTok logo though color treatment. All right. So, oh, and this is where it gets a little sticky because I'm, I'm working on an iPad. Actually, here's what we can do. Here's what we're going to do. I am going to go back to my iPad. I'm going to go back to the home screen. So it'll save this to my cloud documents here. Okay. And then I'm going to leave this open. But I'm just going to move it out of the way. All right, we're gonna jump over into Illustrator, the desktop app. All right, that music is stressing me out too. <laughs> All right, so Illustrator's opening up. So Illustrator's still opening up. All right. So what am I looking for right now when I'm doing this? Honestly, I don't know. I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of scrolling right now. We're on logo pond. I like this one a lot. And, uh, the goal here, the goal is just to, I don't know, see what inspires me, see what sticks out. So like this guy, um, once I see something that has an element that I like, whether it's the color or in this case, I don't know. I just, something about it caught my eye. So I'll take a screenshot of this. So, um, here, let me open up an app so you can see my shortcuts here. So command shift and the number four on my keyboard and I'll click and drag to take a picture of anything on my screen. And before I let go, then I'll hold down the control key and then I'll let go. So now it copied that picture to my, uh, clipboard back into Illustrator. Let's open up this uh, logo that we had started on the iPad. Boom, look at that. 
I love it. Round trip, start in one spot. Look at that. Okay, cool. There's a document. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to like scatter ideas on my canvas here. So let's just, I don't know, just throw it up here. Okay, there it is. This is cool. This has nothing to do. I don't know. I like it, even though it's basically whatever. Okay. I'm going to right click on it this time. So last time I took a screenshot of it. This time I'm just going to right click and copy the image. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. I'm just showing you a couple different ways to work. We'll come back over here and we'll throw this in here. Just paste it. I like the idea of having some kind of an icon and I like this line work style of icons. So I'm just throwing things down that, that either inspire me or, oh, that's cool. Both of these are cool. Um, either they inspire me, command shift four, click and drag, and then hold down control before I let go. Uh, or uh, maybe maybe it's not necessarily that they inspire me, but it reminds me of a style that I want to try or do something with. So what I like about these guys here, uh, the monkey, and uh, what is that? And I don't know, just a creepy skull octopus mask looking deal. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> um, I, I like the idea that you could make a sticker out of this, right? And put it on your snowboard or put it on, you know, a case or whatever you wanted to on your laptop. Uh, so when I build a brand, I love thinking about the brand as a whole in ways that I can pull things apart and create our work to go with it. So while we started very, very, very vanilla, very plain, just throwing fonts out. And I mean, this is warming up, right? This is me warming up and trying to get into a flow, trying to do something here. We narrowed it down to these fonts, which I thought were good. Uh, for what I was doing, or at least I thought they were interesting to me. Uh, this font is called Jin. If you're interested, you can get it on the Adobe Fonts type kit. And uh, yeah. And then we got to here. So that's kind of where we're at. And then I threw this down on the canvas, just more as a reminder to come back to those letters and see if something happens. Something speaks to me here as we start designing stuff. All right, let's see. Let's go back to Logo Pond. Let's troll a little bit more here. The other thing I could start thinking about if I'm thinking more about the brand and not the mark is colors. Uh, if I want to start introducing colors, one way that I would do it. Um, oh, man, there's so many ways to start introducing colors. I might need to turn this into a multi-part stream. Uh, but if I see a color that I like... I might from an image or there, again, there's, there's a hundred different ways to do this. Uh, typically this is how I'd work though. I'd find an image that inspires me and I'd throw down a few squares. Okay. And then I get my eyedropper tool and I'd sample this color and then hold down option and throw the color into one of the swatches. Okay. Um, and that's, or let's say I wanted to sample from this guy down here. I could sample the backdrop. I could sample from the eyes. I could sample this purple from the mask. And then even this teal. And now I've got a color swatch based off of this guy here. Uh, I could even add a few more in there. Okay, so now I've got some color sample ideas. When I'm ready to start applying that to the logo, I could sample from these or, or kind of keep these on deck as an idea. I'm gonna go ahead and save my project. Untitled five. <laughs> um, all right, let's see, let me jump in. I guess I haven't been watching the chat in a minute. Let's see how you guys are doing. Say hello in the chat if you're watching, if you're having a good time, let me know. Um, and apparently I'm going to totally ignore you because I don't even know. There it is. There we go. Love it. What's up? What's up? What's up? Hi. 
All right, let's go back to Illustrator. Okay, so this is my approach for getting ideas down and out onto the canvas. All right, we're headed in the right direction, I think. Uh, there's a lot left to do though. Let's keep going. Um, and this is a slippery slope. So if I get stuck and I'm trying to, trying to get unstuck, I, I might even set a timer so I don't go more than, I don't know, 20 minutes. Cause it's real easy to let two hours slip by and you haven't done anything yet cause you don't know what to do. So you just keep looking at the internet, right? Watching a bunch of cat videos or whatever you're into. I don't know. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm. The hard thing with this, I, I hate, this is too soon. I, I guess. Okay. I'm, let's, let's try this again. Uh, I, I really don't like influencing my designs by looking at like stock art like this first, but if you're feeling super stuck, I mean, it's not the worst idea to start kind of opening up uh, some different things and trying to get some creative ideas. Uh, however, when you do that, it's very difficult to unsee an idea that uh, maybe is overdone. I don't know. No, I'm, no, I'm not making any sense, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Oh yeah, we could throw some mountains in there. I like the simplicity of this guy. Oh, come on. All right, I think, oh, hey, that was actually, that's funny. See, but at the same time, I wouldn't have done it quite like this, but now that I've seen this, it's difficult to not see it. But this overlap is what I was going to play with over here on the CSU. But we'll throw it down there. We'll see if anything sticks. And that might even be a font. Let me look at this. All right, so they've got all the letters. This is a, an Illustrator file, so it's not truly a font. But I could take each one of these glyphs. Let's look at this. Zoom in. Let me just. So, Command Shift 4. Hit on control. There we go. Why is Visualize not working? Oh, I got it. Never mind. Okay, jump back over here. Let's paste that in. Let's scale it way the heck up so I can see what's happening here. Okay, so A, B. So it's got both the regular font and the negative space style font. Okay. Interesting. Okay, well that's an idea we'll come back to. All right. All of these look like courageous to me. Courageous outdoor adventure. Super snowboard company. All right, I think, all right, there's an idea too. The other thing I could be doing, you guys, is leveraging Behance. Uh, actually, I'm not on Behance. But if I was on Behance while I was looking at this, let's, let's do that. Let's jump back over to Behance. Uh, I could start a mood board, and that's a great way to get ideas. So let's do that for just a minute. Let's kind of scroll through. Let's see, I've got logo. How about, uh, how about grunge logo? Let's just see if there's anything cool. 
All right, grunge textures, maybe that's something I come back to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click up here on save. I'm gonna add it to a mood board. Let's call this new mood board and let's call this, what, we, what is this company called? Courageous, I, can't even, I think I spelled that right. Courageous Snowboard Union, was it the union? I don't, yes it was, I think. <laughs> And, and sometimes I don't name my artboards things that I want people to know what it's for, uh, especially if I'm working on a project that's um, not public knowledge yet. I might name it something cryptic, like, I don't know, three or a random letter or something, but I know what it means. So in this case, whatever, we'll leave it. We'll click create. All right, we're gonna save it to the mood board. Boom, saved. All right, I'm gonna step back. Step back. All right, grunge logo. How about, that's kind of cool. I like it, I'm digging it. Super cool. What I like about it specifically, I like the 3D element of it. I like that there's some texture to it and this interesting cut or chop right through the middle. I'm gonna save it, it inspires me. All right, we'll throw it in there. Vintage bundle, unique logos, hipster. This is exactly, minus the barbecue. Huh. Um, but this is what came to mind when I first saw that we were going to be doing the courageous snowboarding union, like very much. I mean, obviously again, not except for the cookware, but like, you know, the X's and the, you know, the, the arched text and even like this guy right here, the circle. So, um, I could save the whole thing or I could just grab command shift four, grab a screenshot of this, hold on control, copy to my clipboard, jump to illustrator throw that guy in here. I mean, it's basically where I was headed with this. Hadn't made it that far yet, but you get the point. Hmm. Did I add this? I don't know if I did yet. Add to mood board. Boink. Save it. All right. And that's, I mean, that's enough for you to get the point of what I'm doing here. Is it though? Should I keep going? <laughs> El Bandito. See, we need some kind of a courageous, what would be a courageous mascot? You guys in the chat, are you still with me here? Uh, what would be a courageous mascot that we could use? Oh man, starting to yawn. It might be time to cut the stream short and do a part two and a part three. We've got a good, a good uh, base started here. See, I like these. Look at this. Okay, like I like the simple icons right that work on everything this one caught my eye this caught my eye oh we could do some kind of a like um i could jump back over into the Photoshop iPad app, but I'm just gonna do it right here real quick. I'll hit shift S to get my blob brush tool. And I'm thinking like a C, S, I, this is, well, whatever. I'll remember that, that looks, whatever. <laughs> so, all right. Now, I hesitate to go where I'm about to go, but we're going to do it. B. 
Because once you see a snowboard logo that somebody else has done or something very specific to your industry, it's tough to unsee it. So typically you want to save this for later to make sure you aren't copying somebody without even knowing it. Right? All right. Yeah, look at this. Like, exactly. I'm, I'm looking for something super, super clean like this. Um, I'm going to ask my mood board. Cool. It's kind of a weird looking board, though. All right. <clears throat> so once you've got a bunch of different ideas and uh, you're feeling all inspired, if you want to come back and see what you've collected, I can come up here to mood boards. And I can see this courageous snowboard union logo mood board. <laughs> Ridiculous. Uh, and I can see some of the different things that were inspiring to me when I got started. Okay. Awesome. So we got some ideas. Did I throw, I don't know if I threw that up. I like to keep things right in front of me when I'm designing. If I'm, if I'm trying to remember what looks I wanted to do now, the opposite this can, or this can also cause problems too if you've got this stuff right in front of you as you're designing. It's hard not to unsee it. It's hard not to trend towards that exact same thing. Um, so you just got to know yourself. You just got to know if it's going to, you know, if that's something uh, that's going to bother you or you just need help getting started. Uh, it's a great way. This is how I... Um, if I'm feeling stuck, it's how I get unstuck, really. Even if I'm not going to use a look that I come up with, like this guy over here, right? I'm not going to use this. I can tell you right now, I'm not going to use the circles in here. That It's not right yet, but it's a step in the direction of this guy, right? Where I was headed and maybe like this, where they've got these lines breaking up the text instead of dots. That might be cooler. Uh, I could experiment with that. In fact, let's experiment with that right now and just kind of see what happens. Delete these guys. Let's grab this circle. All right, and then I need to cut it. I'm sure there's other ways to do this, but Close. Boom. That's not bad. That's kind of cool. Uh, the other way I could do this. So what I did there is I just took a circle and just sliced it and then cut the extra pieces. Um, another way to work would be, and, and perhaps a, a better or more, um, precise way to work on this if we're making that would be to let's get rid of these guys here let's copy the circle again command c to copy command f to paste it right back on top of itself got our scale tool and we're going to drag this out and you can see why I, I love the ipad for the portability uh, but when i need to just like trance out and and get work done and not think about how i'm working i've been doing this for so long that my hands just know what to do um i wish uh, well, sometimes I use like a, a Wacom tablet. I guess I could get a Cintiq or something. Um, and maybe I will. I might do that. Uh, what I was going to say is like, I like having the stylus in a hand. Um, but I also appreciate that with a mouse, I can be really precise before I click on stuff. Anyway, okay. So what I was going to show you is if I grab these and I bring them to the front, let me just change the color of this so you can see what's happening better. I'm going to bring these to the front command shift and the right bracket key brings it all the way to the front here. Let me, that's all right. Okay. So now that this is in front, I'm going to grab these. I'm going to put a stroke on the outside of it. I'm just going to shift click the canvas. So right now my stroke is in front. I've got my text selected. I'm on shift and click on the canvas. And the reason why it's blue is because I'm using an app called Visualize, which shows my clicks. So it turns it blue. It should have turned it white. So we're just going to physically make it white. Okay. Let's come over here and let's scale this up a bunch. And let's make it align to the outside. Let's step it back just a tiny bit. 
Okay. Um, this might be more complicated than it's worth, but by doing it this way, when I clean this up, see how it kind of knocks out from the angle of this. Uh, you can you can get some cool results with it that way versus just cutting it like I did earlier. I don't know if that makes any sense, but we'll go with it. Yeah, it's getting too crazy though. Like right here, see how this is kind of making some extra weird shapes. So I'm going to not work that way. I'm going to not. We're going to pretend like we did, but we're not going to do it. So, okay. Uh, let's keep moving on here. What's up, Z Atharva? I hope I said your name right. Thanks for joining. All right, so if you're just joining in, just a super quick recap. Uh, we are building, we're building a logo based off of the spreadsheet uh, where we picked up random, random uh, words with a number generator. And so we are currently working on building the courageous snowboard union logo all right so we started by dropping down some fonts that were maybe good i don't know just trying to warm up a little bit narrowed it down to a few of the favorites and then took the favorite font and we're starting to kind of play around with it a little bit kind of going for that hipster vibe it probably needs a star in here or something for sure let's play with some stars let's just throw down we don't have to keep it it'll just remind us to come back to it so i hit the letter m real quick to get the rectangle tool and then click and hold to drill down into that menu and get the star tool. Okay. Now the star tool, if I click and drag, you can see uh, it looks like this where the angles aren't quite as aggressive or what's the right word. If I'm looking across the top of that star, it's not, uh, <laughs> words are hard. <laughs> it's not perfectly horizontal. But if I hold on the shift key, nope. If I hold on the option key, it changes it to this kind of a star. All right. And I can throw down the shift key in there too. So now I'm holding down shift and option and now it makes it perfectly perfect. How's that for a word? Perfectly perfect. Or just the shift key and now it's kind of, you know, looks like this, all right? The other thing we can do, if I hold down the command key, now I can change, you know, now it looks more like a starfish or something crazy, right? We can get real crazy with it. So I'm holding down the shift key and the command key. Now we're gonna hold down shift command and option and it and, and it, it did it did that okay the other thing we can do so let's just drag that out there i can hit the up and down arrow keys to add more points to my stars so if you want like one of those really cool you know starburst you're making a sale coupon and you need a starburst uh so you get started hit the up and down arrow to add more points to it now i'm gonna hold down the command key and i can change boom so now from the star tool, we got this really cool, you know, guaranteed, you know, whatever. <laughs> oh my gosh. Guaranteed <laughs> something. All right, there we go. That's how we do that. So we got a star, you know, I, I feel like, oh, oh, you know where, you know where this is going. This looks just like the Converse logo now pretty sure let's check that out oh yeah oh yeah it's a circle with a star in it that's gonna be tough to you know whatever okay jumping back over into illustrator real quick we're probably gonna go away from this actually it looks like a sheriff's bad to badge also where I was going with this initially was gonna be to lose these guys. Actually, I want the other kind of star. Star tool. I gotta fix what I broke. Oh, the other thing you can do, I can click once. There we go. And so with the star tool selected, or a lot of the different tools, if you just click once without actually drawing a shape, uh, you can change the exact specifics of it. So I want a five point star. 
Okay, well that's still not quite right. So let's uh, hold on the command key. There we go. I, I broke the star tool. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> so. Throw this. Oops, we got here extra stuff. All right, now we've got stars. I don't like it, but but there it is. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's back out of this for a minute. Let's get over into this stuff here. All right, we got the overlap font. Problem is, I don't think it's gonna. Oh, you know what it could do? Okay, let's see. So I took this font and then I went to type and then create outlines, which is not going to, there it is. Uh, but I did it on an iPad. It's so a little bit different. So basically you're breaking upon, apart your font. So now that it, it shapes and we can manipulate this a little bit more. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to play around the shapes a little bit. Uh, I don't think it's going to do what I want it to. Exactly. Let's break this apart. Interesting. Check that out. Look at that. Those don't match. They're not the same height. Nobody would notice, but I noticed. Anyway. I like looking at I like getting down into like the super close up nth degree, looking at the grid and how things line up. Uh, Cause I'm a nerd like that. I just, I don't know. I just like seeing how things are built how they work together. Interesting. What was I gonna do? Okay, well, let's 
Let's see. Well, it's not my favorite, but just trying to get some ideas down. said not my favorite but throwing some things around to see if if I like it or if it's worth pursuing further uh, to get some more ideas out all right let's see I think All right, guys, I think we're going to put a pin in it for tonight. We're going to break this up into a probably two or three part stream. Uh, so if you enjoyed the video, if you want to see where we go from here, uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Be sure to, uh, if you're on Behance, follow, follow my profile so you get a notification when we go live next. Uh, and then also, if you want to, you can join me on my, uh, if you go to my website at DerekMitchell.com. Um, and then scroll all the way to the bottom because I hate pop-ups. So I don't want to make you have to like close a pop-up. You can join the newsletter. So, uh, <clears throat> check it out, check out the website, uh, be sure to subscribe and then you'll get a notification when I go live. So you don't miss anything. Uh, you can also join me on, uh, YouTube as well. You can, you can like and subscribe there if you're not already. Um, yeah. So what we're going to do is is we're gonna put a pin in it for tonight on this logo process. If you want to follow along, uh, this document is not currently, but it will be in the link below so you can download it and you can do the same thing. So just a real quick refresher before we go, if you want to uh, jump in and do this uh, logo design challenge, um, basically open up a new browser in Google and type in number generator. Okay. And then you would open up this document, pick a number between one. And in this case, I've got 22 rows, right? One through 22. And you're just going to pick three numbers. So the first number you generate, so number two would be revolutionary. Okay. Then the next word generate the next number is 11 revolutionary sticker. Generate the next number, number 10. So we're coming down to 10 all the way to the end. <laughs> fellowship, revolutionary sticker fellowship. That could be your next logo that you work on. Uh, so check it out. Give it a try. If you guys are into making logos and you want to create something for your portfolio and you're trying to figure something out to be creative, but you don't have a client to work with right now and you're just trying to build your portfolio up, this is a great way to do it. This is a, a really easy way to um, build your skills, get better at what you do and uh would love to have you post what you're working on so if you're doing this uh let's see what's the best way oh here's what you could do you could do your logo and then either can you tag me on behance i don't know if you can tag me on behance um let's do this let's do this let's do this all right so the other thing you could do um i've got a facebook group called complete graphic design. And I'm not trying to like promote a bunch of stuff here, guys. I just want to make sure you guys can stay connected if you want to stay in touch. Uh, so go to this uh, 
Complete Graphic Design group. Uh, there's about 17,000 people here. Um, <clears throat> and I and I haven't personally been as active on Facebook because I deleted Facebook from my phone and I deleted Instagram from my phone. Uh, but this is a really, really great place if you're looking for feedback uh, or ideas right here. I'm looking for potential feedback or ideas on the clothing brand, Hardcore Inc. This is awesome. Look at this. Great work, Mike. Uh, I'll give you a thumbs up. Um, <laughs> what's up? <laughs> Boom. All right. So, yeah, Mike, this looks great. Definitely a great first start. Uh, while we're in here, I was about to close, but let me give you some feedback real fast. So looking at this, it looks like um, the spacing, the margin, I guess you could call it, or the stroke or the width, whatever, uh, isn't the same. So let's work on getting those to be consistent. Uh, but looks like it's a great first pass at that. I like that the icon is very, very simple and can be produced on anything. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Yeah, looks awesome. So if you want to follow along and you want to uh, or, or post into the group, check out Complete Graphic Design on Facebook, facebook.com slash groups slash Complete Graphic Design. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in there. Thanks so much for watching tonight, guys. Hope you have an awesome day. Uh, and we will see you in the next live stream. All right, guys, thanks for watching today. I uh, hope you learned a lot of valuable information and I appreciate you sticking around to the very end. But before you go, just a couple things I want to remind you. The first is if you haven't already, feel free to like this video if you can, depending on where you're watching from, give it a thumbs up or subscribe or tap the bell or give it a follow if you can. And uh, also maybe even just copy the link up in the browser and share it with a friend or post it to your Facebook page. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, but again, just want to say thanks for uh, sticking around and I'd love to continue going live as much as possible and helping you guys out. So the best way that I can help you is by you commenting on the videos below. I read those comments. I engage with them as soon as I can, if I can, when I see them. So if it's live, I'll try and answer you right away. If this is a replay, you can still comment on the video and uh, I go back and I read those. So I just wanted to say thanks again for watching and let me know what you're working on. I'd love to help you out and hopefully we will see you in the next live. And to be sure you don't miss it, like, like this video and subscribe and follow and do the things. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later.